Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm here again, outside. It's a lovely day. My wife's at work, kids are at school. And I have a couple hours before I have to go to work myself. Which is about 2, you know, I have to clock in around, not around, at 2 o'clock. But anyway, I just wanted to come out here and, you know, share some thoughts. And um, I'm actually out here to do a blade review of um this this item which is from chris cutlery but we'll get we'll get into that in a second but um <clears throat> you know just wanted to take the time and you know just come out here you know just chat a little bit and um before we dive into the review it's like yesterday when i tried to um actually you know shoot the video i just kept on getting this um this uh, creator's block. It's like I knew what I wanted to say, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't put it into words. Or yeah, essentially. I mean, I just couldn't put it into words. I mean, I must have you know tried at least God twenty times, twenty times to shoot a video, and finally you know I started getting upset. You know, started cussing at myself and everything. And I'm like, you know what? It's time to back off. You know, just you know, go put it up, you know, go do something else, it'll come to you, and, um, I would also like to thank, uh, Cowboy Seabot, you know, I told him about the situation, he goes, you know, he said with him, he just, like, you know, lets it flow, he doesn't, you know, even look at the video before he posts it, and when he does, he's kind of like, mm, I don't like it, so maybe I'll, you know, reshoot, you know, take it down and reshoot it, but anyway, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm just taking that advice and um, I'm just doing it um, essentially my way, my platform. You know, how I tried to do it was I tried to use other people's platforms on how they review, but it's just, I mean, it does work at times, but not really. So anyway, you just kind of have to, you know, just do it yourself, just be yourself. But anyway, let's just go ahead and dive right into this review. And today I am going to be reviewing the Pinuti from Chris Cutlery. This bad boy has a 19 and a quarter inch blade with a six and a half inch handle. Now, the blade is actually made of 5160 high carbon steel. And it also features a blackened iron guard. Now, what the weight of this sword is, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't have a scale. But I tell you what, though, it's got some heft. And going back to the blade, I don't know if you could see it or not, if the camera could pick it up. But you could see right probably the first, what, four, maybe five inches is pretty much flat. And then when you continue up the way probably about 11 and a half 11 and a quarter inches it's actually beveled and that's pretty much to essentially help assist in the weight or to reduce the weight i should say and i can't really show you um here with this with the angle of the camera but if you look straight down you can actually see a slight distal taper on the blade yeah, essentially it's um where it start you know the distal taper is where it starts off large and then as it goes down the blade it starts to narrow a bit and that's also to help assist in you know the weight of the sword but anyway what a pinuti is um it's a essentially like a machete type um slash sword that originates from the Visayan region of the Philippines, which is the central Philippines. And um, farmers or, you know, uh, the, the, pe uh, the Filipino people down there use these essentially to, you know, process wood for fires, you know, building homes, um, uh, you know, or to keep their animal or, you know, just everyday use. But um, in a pinch, I mean, these actually function as very good, you know, hand-to-hand -hand, um, melee combat weapons. 
and just looking at this blade right here you could see this belly i mean this is this is a heavy duty use uh piece right here dip you know a heavy duty um use piece right here um this is pretty much essentially the business part from right right here to about this um very acute point i mean and this thing is needle sharp i mean i wouldn't want to be at the receiving end of this uh of this blade at all but going back to the handle the handle you know like i said it's a six and a half inch handle and it is actually made of kamagon which is a tropical hardwood and essentially i think that's what kind of really sets the beauty off in this sword is the uh the wooden is the handle because just of all the light and dark grains that are you know you know just a very natural pattern in the wood i mean and <coughs> this carving right here is uh essentially a naga which is like you know a dragon so that's what that is right here now my only complaint or not complaint my only issue with the handle is that it's octane um how do you say it octon you know it's octagonal um carved so it's got these almost like an edge right here um where you hold the um where you hold the sword and that right there kind of like really you know kind of digs into my finger when you swing it and also on the back too and that kind of digs into my palm so yeah, that's pretty uncomfortable and also with this um this type of wood another complaint is is that it's a very smooth wood and it's very you know it's very smooth and so when your palm starts to sweat or water get you know gets on it it's gonna you know it, it's gonna slip so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to take some very fine sand uh sand grit sandpaper and just kind of maybe just very lightly just smooth those out just just a little bit just to take you know take the uh the edge off as it were so it would um actually function better in the hand now the um another issue i have right here this is just a small issue is that if you could see it it's like uh, about right there right there the uh the actual blade isn't really flush with the guard and it's just in that one corner but it's not gonna really affect the integrity of the sword at all but it's just little minor things i picked up but all in all i mean it's a very very good weapon you know to have to any collection and I do recommend it. And it's pretty affordable. I believe um, it's going now for like what? 165 You know, don't quote me on that. Just go to the uh, Chris Cut Cutlery website and check it out. But, I mean, it's... This is one, one awesome piece. And I'm sorry about what my sinuses. I mean, you know, I've never had sinuses and never had allergies, but something is just aggravating the hell out of it and it's just you know it's draining to the back of my throat and it's just it's just awful but anyway this is the pignotti um from chris cutler and i also forgot to mention this is the third generation pignotti see there was also um you know of course the first and the second generation but <clears throat> i remember years ago the um first generation pignotti was exactly like this one except it had a a thicker brass it had a thicker brass guard it didn't have the pin and the scabbard wasn't wood like this one and by the way this is the uh, scabbard it comes with you know it's very plain you know just uh, you know very simple um soft wood and it's got it has like a little cord wrap so you could stain it yourself you know you know pretty much make it your own but anyway getting back to what i was talking about the scabbard on the first generation community was actually leather and this was um going back god 
I'm going to say probably <coughs> like 15, 20 years ago. But, and they, uh, you know, they no longer make the first generation. The second generation Pinuti was this right here. I mean, it, it was, you know, this is actually like the second and third generation, I think. But the, uh, now they have a fourth out. And that is essentially, it looks like the, uh, the first generation Pinuti. And, you know, of course it has a, uh, has a wood scabbard. So they took elements of the first generation and the uh, second and third generation and put them together. So that's, that's pretty much it. I'm glad I got this one. I prefer the Iron Guard because it's stronger and it'll hold up more, you know, when it comes, if you do, you know, when you, if you ever have to use it, you know, it's, it, you know, iron's a little bit harder than, uh, than brass and it won't bend. Excuse me for a second. And, uh, I've had this for about, oh gosh, about a few years, but I've actually had it, you know, I've actually owned one previously and that was probably about God, going back to what five years ago, 2015, and what happened to that one is that <clears throat> it had um, it had a pin, but I guess they had forgot to put some epoxy on there. So when they put the pin in, it would wiggle and and kind of jiggle. So what I was gonna do or what I was doing was tapping that pin out, and as I did that, I ended up cracking and busting the handle, and it. I was pissed. So what I did in that that fit of anger, I took the sword, wrapped it up, and I just chucked it into the uh, the garbage bin. This is when I was living in an apartment, so we had a giant trash bin. And I mean, I, I threw out everything. I mean, the scabbard, the blade, the um, the guard, everything else was good except the handle. I mean, I wish I hadn't done that, but you know what? I've just I was just like, you know what? screw this out it goes you know some you know that's that's one thing i regret i wish i would have kept the blade and the guard i could have done something with it but anyway that's my review of the pinuti a third generation from chris cutlery and that's pretty much i all i have for today i hope you guys have a, um, a, a good day and until next time take it easy youtube